help us make an olive oil cake. Sounds kind of weird at first thinking about olive oil being something sweet, but it actually is delicious. You'll love it because it has that really rich flavor. So we're going to start out by beating three eggs. You want to open up an egg, Joey? Do you know how to do this? All you do is you like either crack it right here or you crack it on the side. I like to do it here so you get less shells in there. So crack it, then pop it in, and then we'll put it in the garbage right here. That's why I'm mixing by hand. Because if you use one of those stand-up mixers, you'll probably overmix this batter. So you want to do it by hand. Mix it in just until it's all mixed. See all the flour getting incorporated? If you have a few lumps and bumps, that's okay. One final mix. There, that's it. So we're going to get a pan. All we did is put a little bit of cooking spray on it. Oh, we forgot one more thing. We need to flavor it. And we're going to flavor it by putting orange 
orange zest in it. So I have a little bit here already done. And so when you zest something, you just want to get the orange part. You don't want to get into this other, uh, the, the white part because it gets real bitter. So you just want to take it, all your graters should have um, a little area for getting the zest off. If not, you can even use just a sharp kitchen knife. So we're gonna just go along here and grate this. This is the part you'd want your parents to do using a grater. Little kids shouldn't be grate, you might hurt your fingers. Not that I haven't graded my own fingers before. So we just go along and get all this here. So out of all three of the um, oranges here, we're gonna save a little bit, like one tablespoon of the zest to garnish. So a little bit more. Get all that good zest out. So we're gonna save a little bit for the top of a tablespoon. And then we'll get the rest of this in here. And then we're gonna take the orange, cut it in half, and then put half the juice of one orange in. Just stir this gently in. Mm, doesn't that smell good, Joey? Smell yeah. the orange and the olive oil. And even though these are really light flavors, it's because you have the olive oil in there, it's a really rich cake. Okay, so let's get this in our pan. All we've done to it is put a little bit of cooking spray on it, and that's it. So it's going to bake it. 350 degrees for about an hour, between 55 and 60 minutes. So that when you put a toothpick in the center, it comes out clean. Do you see all the little flecks of the orange in there, Joey? Mmm, does it smell good? So let's get this in the oven. so I cut it up into little hearts for them. But me and Joey can try one of them. Okay, take the one in the middle. And then we're gonna put a little bit of topping on this. I whipped up some whipped cream. So I just have a pint of whipped cream, about a half a cup of sugar, a little um, cream of tartar, and whip it all together. And then we're just going to put this in the center and then everybody can just take a little bit when they take one of the cakes so that everybody can see all the hearts on there. And that's what we saved our orange for. You can just put a little bit of zest on the top and then everybody will know that the flavoring in the cake is orange. Okay, so let's give us a little bit of whipped cream. You want to take a bite, Joey? I'll take a bite. Mmm. Is it good? You taste the orange? You taste the creaminess of the oil? It's so good, huh? Very good. Needs some milk, huh? It's so good. Well, I hope you'd like it, and I hope you make it, and remember to make it with love.